Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share with you four season with the beauty and joy and it's going to be with uh, BB White but I get extra tips too for this stamp set. So let's get started. The first tip that I'm going to share with you, I got scrap paper here. It's um, for the wicker basket, some people get a, a little difficult time with that. And it's like a disti distinct ink stamp. So let me share a tip. Um, I'm going to, this is soft suede. It's not the color I want to use, but I wanted a color that I had just um, re ink. And if you get a lot of ink, you see you're going to stamp that and you get a big blah of blah, right? Well, sometimes too much ink, it's not good. I mean, it's okay, but some stamp set are not friendly with that. So let me wash this. And then let me show you a trick. And that's going to be, it's perfect for any distinctive ink, distinctive ink stamp that don't stamp good. I got a yucky bone folder that I use all the time. You can take a plastic spoon also. I like to use a bone folder. And see, I just push the ink. Push, push. You keep the ink on your pad. You just push it all at one area. Okay. Now I'm going to pull that a bit there too. Now I'm going to keep this on the side here. Now watch what's going to happen now. I'm going to hang this. Et voila! Oops! Dang it! Uh, you see, oh, that was this one we did. I'm sorry. That was the other side. See the difference from this to this? This I get all the fine detail. And this I get like blah. So that's what you want to do. If you don't have a great impression or it's kind of just push the ink and that's going to work for a lot of the stamp set now you're done with this you can push it back in so you're not wasting any ink that you uh did you just um then i take my hinky rag here and just wash this it's just you push it aside a bit and sometimes you want to do two generation or three generation. You can move the ink on your pad like this. Okay, now you get the tip for the wicker basket. All of them. So with the leaves, that's going to be our fall. Then, well, that's like oak leaf. Then the pointy leaf, that's going to be our spring and summer. And then, of course, this is going to be our winter. And so... I done for thank you card I done many of them in with the BB wipe and if you see they start changing colors right now just the season here too it's changed color it's just when you stamp over and over with the same BB wipe well you're not exactly sure where you go so it, after like 20 of them of course it won't be the same color but see how pretty it is at the beginning so when if it go, get like a blotch after a while you're like okay i don't like those color anymore you can start another baby white so first thing we're going to do we're going to do our basket first and so i'm going to do a two basket with the wicker and i'm going to be using crumb cake i like the wicker basket with the crumb cake so oh, this one is the christmas i want the other one so what i'm going to do it's just stamp right at the bottom. Et voila. And this is crumb cake, crumb cake for my wicker basket. And I'm going to stamp this one there. So I get very nice detail. So we get the two wicker. Now the terracotta or whatever it's called. We're going to use um, the copper. I just love the copper for this. All the measurement for all the cards, the four season, it's going to be on my blog. And this, I will not emboss this. I'm leaving it just the way it is. I love the look of just the way that it blends with just the copper. 
ink. You could emboss it, but this is not embossed. Then, because it's a pigment ink, you want to let it dry before you touch it, because it takes longer to dry. So now we got that. We're going to do, uh, this is the one that I like, the little uh, stump here, the little branch. That's the one that I like for both leaves. So we're going to use this, and for, I'm going to do, um, I like to have almost a brown for this stem, so I'm using soft suede. That's what I'm going to do. And so, because it's photopolymer, I put my foam pad under, and I'm going to, oops, I'm going to put that right there. I can see, I think I get put my head in the camera there. Here we go. Very easy to uh, put together because it's see-through. Et voila. And you see the different coloration. That's it's because it's a distinct uh, stamp. Okay, so we, oh, we, get, we need one more, but that one's going to be up oh, right here. Because we're going to have three with the leaves. And, oh, this is the Christmas. I almost screwed that up. Here we go. Okay, and now for this one here, I like to do all my um, stump or whatever, the, the base first. I get the one with the three little thing. It's going to come right in the center here. Et voila. Okay, now it's the fun part, BB wipe. So BB wipe, it's a very old technique, but it's a technique that I love. I'm using just one of the BB wipe. If you find some without pattern, it's even better. But I didn't find any with pattern. You can always use also, instead of BB wipe, you can use paper towel and wet them. It give a different look. I like BB wipe. We're going to start with just the, like, those leaves. We're going to do spring and um, summer. So I'm going to use old olive. And I'm going to put a few drops. And then I'm going to use Garden Green. Even if it's a distinct uh, stamp, it gives you the different tone. I'm going to use different colors here. So you're going to see. And then I can even add a little bit of shade of spruce. Just a little bit here and there. So that should be about right. So now I'm going to take my leaves and then we're going to bring our one of this and we're going to smack that right here. Et voila! See all the different uh, color? I think it makes it uh, very lovely. So we need two of that, one for spring and one for summer. Et voila! So let me bring this closer to you so you can see. I think it adds so much. Now, for the spring, I'm just going to leave it like that, okay? I won't do anything else to the spring. The only thing that I'm going to do on this, though, because you know that I don't like to have something just hanging without holding. The, the basket is sideways a little bit. That's okay. The wind pushed it. I'm using the Light Pool Party. And I'm just using a little bit here, something below. So it looks like it's sitting on something. If that is too dark, sometimes I take my um, Min Melody, the light one also. And then I'm going to... Here we go. Just a little bit of shading. And right now it's too dark for me, so I'm just going to use my lifter. Here we go. Just say I get something there, okay? So you can do darker. Usually it's darker at one end. So I'm just going to go back and just a little bit. Here we go. So one side darker. So now 
this will be my spring now for summer I won't do all the bottom now you know how to do that for summer you get that little bitty flowers in there so you can add whatever color flower you want I get um, melon mambo here so I'm gonna go ahead and add a few of the flowers here and there and you can always add different colors you know have more than one colors I'm just using uh, this right now hmm here oh I need one more right there about Et voila, my friend. So now you got, I call this one, my summer one. So we got our spring and summer done. Now, for Christmas, it's still in the green, but I want very much darker. So I'm going to still use the combination that I get there, but I'm going to go ahead and add, this is garden green, go there. I'm going to add more of... Um, the shaded spruce so um, I just gonna go and add more shaded spruce so for the winter and I need longer to be honest with you for uh, the winter I call it you um, I would put more of the shaded spruce and less of the whole of olive and garden that's it right now I'm coming at the bottom and add a bit of the other color so then it's marbleized <laughs> we're gonna take this olive here and it look like quite a bit but I think it's good and we're gonna bring this and now we can line this up right in the center here Oops, et voila. See how all the color, and as it dry, right now it's quite a bit, but if I would have waited also that it sink a little bit in my uh, thing, it would have been even better. Let me bring another piece of paper and you can see. Let me bring this piece of paper here. And all the one that I did was on um, heavy, uh, card stop. This is the light here. Here we go. Much better. So we're just going to let it dry and you're going to see, we're going to see the definition of that. Now for the fall, that's the one that I did a bazillion of them. I say bazillion quite a bit. We're going to use pumpkin pie and you're going to see I go randomly, okay? We're going to use crushed curry. And crushed curry and pumpkin pie give a tone of its own, more like a brownish almost. And then um, I'm going to use, uh, not Cajun, but I'm going to use a bit of cherry cobbler here. And very little of green and that's going to be the old olive and I say very little because uh, fall that's when le the the green is going away right so that's why I said very little so now I get this let me bring our paper we get here and then I'm going to go here and then we're going to stamp that right at the top here. Et voila! Oh, that is pretty. So, as you go, because you know when you're going to stamp back and forth on this, you won't have exactly the same uh, place. Somebody asked me if you could do that on, um, oh, let me think here, on... Um, Stamparatus, you could always slide that there and put your ink there, remove it, put your paper. Absolutely, you could do that. It's just for me, I did the just in a tree like that forever. So it's work, but here what I'm talking about, might as well pull it out. So what you could do 
it's uh, let's put that right here and then here we go. Now you would have to know about where to put your uh, cards. So I would line it up good, put myself a pattern, and then you can, oh, you need your foam under that. No. Let me slide the foam under this. And, and that really, I would use the new foam that is... Oh, the one with the, oh, here it is. No, nope, now I cannot even find it because, you know, we got a foam with the grid on it. And that's what I would use just to make sure that I know the position for it. And just because I want to reach it quick, I cannot find it. But then you could go back and forth. Having your foam there, you would have to to have um, a guide there and then you could go back so then you're um, let me think here your tray would always go at the same spot but it's just that if you use always at the same spot it won't take long you won't have ink so for me I rather use it on my uh, block and just go with it and like I said I did lots and lots of them and you see they just got a different look all of them they, I think they're very pretty and here's the one we did today so that's the best step that I can give you and all the cards gonna be uh, finished all the four seasons see you get different tone in it or oh, this one you get those little tiny dots that you can put the berries in I almost forgot about that and I'm gonna use real red and I can put the berries in it you know what let's try cherry cobbler here we go cherry cobbler it's better here we go. So now you get little berries in it. So that is it, my friend, for today. I will have all the cards done on my blog, all finished, so you can come and check out what i done. But it, this is it for my four season with Baby White. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.